Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your mid-month reading for the second half of April and we have an eclipse in the sign of Aries, a new moon, a second new moon for the month or in the season, Aries season. And yeah, speaking of Aries, we have the Emperor, Focus and Stability coming in the card of Aries. So, you know, we see, as you know, eclipses can bring reset, it can bring change, unexpected change. It shows you what you've outgrown. And this can happen, you know, up to six months after the eclipse. But then we move straight into Taurus season, into Mercury retrograde, which is going to be in the sign of Taurus. So focus on stability. <laughs> the Emperor is coming in. I have this sense that you're going to want to try and feel more in control of your life. That's something that's really coming through and it's like stepping into your power with the Emperor. So let's see what is coming in. What's shifting and changing for Gemini? What's shifting and changing for Gemini? Let's see. What's shifting and changing for Gemini? Okay. Here we have yeah, a lot of that, the Taurus and, um, yeah, Venus Taurus. Okay, Pentacle 5, Venus Taurus and Cup King Scorpio Crown. Hmm, interesting. I think, you know, one of the things you're really going to want to have control over is your money or your, your living situation, your financial situation or your work situation, your home, your health, or anything on that material realm where there's been a bit of a challenge or a conflict even. I think you're just like, I want to manage this myself and I want to feel more in control of that. So that's something that's kind of coming through. I feel like it's like you're taking the reins quite literally, especially if there's been power issues between you and somebody else or control issues that have been going on between you and somebody else. There's something that um, you like, you know, I'm taking the reins back. So, yeah, that feels like an important energy to come through for you. Gemini. So Gemini, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know where they are because they give you the fuller picture of what's going on for you or more holistic view of what's going on for you. And this is a general reading, Gemini. Just take what feels right, leave the rest, trust your intuition. And there is no extended reading for the mid-month. Those will be coming in for the monthlies. And if you'd like to check out the beautiful Patreon community that we are building and growing, so much more extra content going on in there. And would love it if you come and check it out. The link is in the description box below. Okay, the Six of Wands, wanting to be seen and validated. It's the card of success crossed by the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's a major re-evaluation of like what's going on with you here with how you're seen in relationships and how control you're feeling yeah the high priestess a lot's being revealed to you trust your intuition here with the high priestess <laughs> it's all coming out the three of swords the star card okay there's something that's potentially been hurting you or wounding you here that um, is yeah you're wanting to kind of take control you're being very guided towards Hey, gosh, it's all just kind of coming, coming out. Oh, the Ace of Wands. Okay, so taking action here, a lot of Aries like energy coming in. So I feel like with this new moon, like I said, it's the second new moon, but it's an eclipse. So set an intention about something that you really, really want from this situation that there's been a challenge on the material realm. So whether has there been worry about money or uh, yeah. A, a fight, yeah, any kind of thing that's felt like challenging on the material realm. Okay, so let's see what else is coming through. It's very much the I am and I want. This is what I want kind of thing that's coming through for you here, Gemini. Putting yourself first in a situation. Okay, saying no to somebody might actually be really important as well with this Ten of Swords. Pretty, putting up some pretty strong boundaries, I kind of think can help rebalance the situation um, for you and yeah major re-evaluation with the seven of cups coming in around something that you're very conflicted about lots of sevens which is also yeah the mercury retrograde energy and the ten of wands okay so yeah I feel like there's been a heaviness around you there's been something heavy that you've been carrying around whether it's a heavy burden or something like that that's kind of been wounding you um, this can be, yeah, taking on too many responsibilities or feeling responsible for somebody else or just, yeah, yeah, just a general kind of feeling of, okay, this is feeling like it's 
just weighing on me a little bit because, uh, you know, this line down here is about letting go. you got two tens here and an ace. So it's very much like some endings are happening here and there's some new beginnings that are going on. There's something that you're letting go of that is been wounding you and hurting you. So it has got a lot to do with this card here as a situation, the six of wands, which is the card of success, victory, success, getting what you want and um, being successful um, in life in general or an aspect of your life. And this is again, the card of validation being seen. And so getting your needs and heard and met and seen. So there's kind of a major reevaluation around that. It is crossed by the Eight of Cups, which is the card of fulfill, um, not being fulfilled, actually, the opposite. So it's like something hasn't been fulfilling for you. And it's kind of, um, you know, this could be a major questioning of like, it's like I've been putting a lot of effort into it. Maybe you've been achieving a lot of success with something. Maybe it's either you're achieving success or you're not achieving success and not feeling validated and seen. But I, however this dynamic is working, it's kind of looking at how fulfilling has that been for you. So, yeah, sometimes this is kind of like, yeah, I've had a lot of success in my career, but is it something that's really fulfilling me or, you know, so it can be a deep questioning of things like that in your life. But it does feel like there is the Eight of Cups is where, it potentially somebody's walking away or detaching. So it feels like, okay, that is being shown to you at this moment in time. In your conscious mind, you've got the high priestess and this is your intuition. Really trust your intuition here because you're getting some very strong messages coming through your intuition with the high priestess. It may also be the high priestess, high priestess likes to be number one, likes to be seen. And so it's uh, very much a sense that, something might feel like it's in a bit of an in-between space at this moment in time and not really certain where it's at. Um, so the high priestess is kind of revealing a lot to you and potentially can be bringing in some sort of synchronicities that are guiding you at this moment in time because we have what's happening deep down is the three of swords and this is um, what's happening deep inside of you and this is yeah, a wound that has come up or a wound that's being triggered underneath the surface. So I really feel like, um, yeah, if this, if you're feeling like something's not successful or you're not being valid, invalidated and not being seen or heard in some way, shape or form, um, this is, and yeah, really listen to how you're feeling about something or someone or a situation. There's something that you can potentially shift and adjust on the material realm that can help you feel more in control of this situation. So in the recent past, we've got the star card. So with the star and the high priestess around, it does feel like there's some higher spiritual energy around helping you, like guiding you at this moment in time, because the star card is very much about feeling more hopeful or feeling more guided. Uh, and the high priestess is like having a little bit like having a fairy godmother around or wanting a fair, fairy godmother around to kind of just help you through some of these um, transitions through this energy that could be a little bit challenging with that three of swords there. But in the near future, you've got the ace of wands with the emperor. It's like, boom, you know, I know what I want. Something new activates and this could be a new goal that you're setting or something that you really, really want starts up or you're getting really motivated about. This is, you know, the Aries card. The Emperor is the Aries energy. So it's like, yeah, I'm I'm kind of trusting my instinct here and really going for something or doing something that I, you know, just starting something. So something new gets activated that you might feel a lot more in control of. But interestingly, it's right next to the Ten of Wands, which is kind of like, it's like you need to let go of those 10 wands, see how heavy it's become with this person. Each step is becoming heavier and heavier the more they will move forward carrying these 10 wands. And it's almost like they need to let that go so that they can step into the new, the new path, the new door, the new thing that is activating here. So you've got the energy. It feels like there's a release or an energy release that comes in around it. So, and you're presenting as the 10 of swords. So... This can sometimes be a card of feeling betrayed, like a card of being stabbed in the back or, like I said, betrayal. But it's rest, recovery, release, something is transforming, the darkness is lifting and there is a new dawn, whether 
this character is aware of it or not. And so it's saying that something has ended uh, and that hopefully that's connected to this Three of Swords, you know, the thing that was wounding you that potentially you have been carrying around for a while, for a long time. And the Ten of Swords is the ending, the closure, the uh, it's over. It can be setting up very clear boundaries like saying no to somebody. It can be letting go of an old belief system or something that just took a lot of space up inside your mind. Um, I think that this is a really positive letting go like ending that's coming through here and it can be feeling like it can get very strongly activated within this eclipse-like energy, but just as something ends, something begins with Ace of Wands. So um, something new that you really want that is coming through here. So the energy surrounding you is the Six of Pentacles and it's sort of saying it's not going to require that much more effort to kind of shift the balance here. As we move from the pentacle five is the challenge on the material realm here that could be with a person around you that could be narcissistic or it, this could be about your emotional needs, about your know, emotional safety as well. But the six of pentacles is that there's so, something around you at this moment that can rebalance you. There's it be either to open to receive if you need a little bit of help or you need some, you know, this can be gifts coming your way or a little bit of extra money or promotion or something coming your way, an opportunity on the material realm, just a little thing that you need to kind of help you rebalance. And if you're ready, if you're kind of wanting to give to somebody else, this could be the opposite. If you're kind of thinking, I want to give more, then um, yeah, that could be the thing that helps rebalance you. But there's opportunities around to rebalance your situation on the material realm, which is actually good, bringing in some kind of more harmony. So being able to move from, from the five into the six, which from the conflict into balance and harmony, which is good. So hopes and fears, we've got the four of wands, and this is about building a really solid foundation about what it is that you really, really want here. So it's like uh, getting really clear on that is going to be really, really important with that, especially around living situations or close personal relationships. That's something that can come through with that. Uh, but we have as an outcome, this is the Mercury retrograde energy coming in, the two sevens. So we move from the six to the seven, quite the progression, like it's quite sort of methodical and linear. We go from the five of pentacles to the six of pentacles to the seven of pentacles. And so, and, you know, it's very much the sevens represent reevaluation. So the Seven of Cups is like the picture isn't necessarily clear yet. It's still forming, but you're looking at new options and potentially looking for some new results. And um, so that's something that's coming through around something. Again, this Five of Wands here is something that's been a bit of a balance, uh, a, a challenge, a test or a battle in some way, shape or form, some sort of conflict that's coming in. And the seven of pentacles is like a major re-evaluation of that as well in the material realm. How much time, effort and energy do I want to invest into this thing that feels like a struggle in my life? Um, and, you know, what sort of options are around me? And the four of pentacles, again, like it's this sense of wanting to build some kind of, uh, this is the retrograde energy. We're moving backwards now, going back to the four. Okay. So, We've ended up in this place where we're reevaluating where you're at on the material realm, like what's happening with your money or what's happening with your home, your work, your career. And then it's like, okay, let's go back to the foundations of why I've been doing this and the foundational work that needs to happen. Like, let's go back to that. And so it's kind of like building some new foundations in terms of where you're at on the material resource realm, in terms of your resources, your living situation, what it is that, you know, uh, money relationships with other people, that can be something that comes in with it. And it's almost like, yeah, getting wanting to build some really, really good foundations. This is what you're feeling in more control of. This is what you're feeling like you want to what is it that you want from this situation here? So there's an opportunity to reevaluate, re go back over some old things, rework it and re-set you know, some foundations here, foundational things. So that feels like really important to be doing that, Gemini. So let's pull 
So I did talk a little bit about that, the Ten of Wands already, which is just really the sense of you're kind of at the end of a journey with something and it's time to let something go and, you know, uh, potentially release some energy for these new things that are coming in. There is a lot of major reevaluation, like I said, but the Ace of Wands is really like release the thing that you are holding on to here that has been heavy for something that you really, really want that's going to set a good foundation in your life. So we've got, as your affirmation card, I claim my own power. Yeah, that's you being the emperor. And I lovingly create my own reality. That's you with the ace of wands. So I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. And that's what you are doing. It's kind of quite a pragmatic, practical, patient way of doing it. It's kind of like you're kind of unearthing all the, the stones and seeing what's underneath everything and then rebuilding it again and then seeing if that works. And then so shifting and changing, making some adjustments where needed, but it's it's going to make the reality that you're creating at this moment so much better by the fact it's going through this kind of Mercury retrograde process that's coming in with it as well. So let's have a look at, let's pull a charm. So that's the productive way of working with Mercury retrograde. We have, oh, the lock. Okay, wow. Hmm, interesting. This is very interesting. Something wants to be unlocked here, quite literally. But what has been feeling like it's been kind of under lock and key or locked up inside of you is this feeling like this is something you haven't been able to do or haven't even been able to speak about or haven't been able to. I feel like this is connected to the Three of Swords like and the Ten of Wands. It's like you've been holding on to something heavy that has been wounding you but it's almost like it was the vault was locked it was inside the vault and we had to lock that vault and not be able to kind of yeah there's something around this but that's what the ten of swords is doing is saying no more no to the lock <laughs> whatever that means something got locked away and I, I keep feeling it in my throat chakra like I couldn't I wasn't allowed to say anything or there was a secret that has been locked away or certain behavior that wasn't allowed to come out in the open or something like that. The high priestess reveals things, a secret keeper, and something was under lock and key here. And it's like I feel like something is necessary has come up and out of a situation that has allowed you to step into something that you really, really want and to take control of a situation. So, yes, yeah, speaking your truth is going to be really important with this one as well because I am feeling it around my throat chakra. Um, the other thing that I kind of get with this as well is housing, home, keys, things like that, um, things that's kind of like an important energy that's coming through with it as well. Your your living situation might be something that you're looking at and evaluating as well. So, but either way, like I really feel like this is you, like this sentence, I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality is exactly what this is about here. And it's able to overcome some things that have been challenges, especially been challenging you in that have on the material realm and the emotional realm that have been wounding you and yeah you kind of be able to kind of step into your power and get what you want here and build some new foundations so yeah that's your reading gemini thanks so much for joining me please like subscribe share leave a comment love to read your comments it helps with the channel and helps um support the channel and I really truly appreciate it and if you're interested in the beautiful Patreon community that we are building and growing the link for that is in the description box below love it if you come and check that out Gemini and yeah really I get do some work on your throat chakra um, so light blue is the color for that and it's about listening to other people's stories and speaking your authenticity and truth and releasing whatever's been weighing you down here with the ten of wands so that's it.